हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सुशांत चेस वेल्स टुडे वी आर एट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द एनडीएम स्टडीज एक्सप्लेन एंड वी आर एट द थर्टी एथ पोजिशन ऑफ अवर टॉपिक टुडे वी हैव गॉट ए पोजिशन वेर वी सी दैट रूक एंड द बिशप आर फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट टू पास्ट पॉन्स द पास्ट पॉन्स आर नॉट कनेक्टेड दे आर ऑन द सेम फाइल एंड दैट इज द मेन कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न फॉर वाइट इट लुक्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गार्ड द बी वन स्क्वेर Well, black is about to queen his pawn. Let's look at some ways to stop the pawn from queening. White needs the bishop on the f5 square in order to stop the pawn from queening on b1. But the point is, king just takes f5 and the rook can manage some checks, but it's not able to control the b1 square. Another way that looks good is rook a4 check. For seeing king e5, but then again controlling f5 looks very difficult because if rook f5, then king takes the bishop, and rook's checks can be stopped by bringing the king closer to the rook, and the pawn will queen. If white goes for the like rook b6, then we see that after b1 queen, rook into b3, white has taken the pawn. There is rook, bishop, and pawn. Versus the queen, but queen h1 and white gets mated. So what to do? How can we control the b1 square? So there is just one way. White has to go for the move rook a4 check, forcing king e5, and now comes the decoy idea rook e4 check. If the king now decides not to take the rook, let's say by kd6. Or king f6, then rook simply comes to e1, controls the b1 square, and after rook b1, white will win both the black pawns. Hence, rook in king into e4 is forced, and here white can simply go for the move bishop g8, and we see that the bishop is now eyeing the h7 square where it will come by force and control the b1 square. Of course, b1 queen blunder, bishop h7 check. And the queen is lost. But what White had to calculate well beforehand was the race of pawns, which ensues now. After Kd3, B7 check, Kd2, H5, Kc1, H6, B1 queen, Bishop takes B1, King takes B1, H7. B2, H8 equal to queen, and after the move, king A2 or king C2. King C2 is somewhat better. After king A2, queen A8 check, Kb3, and queen into F3 is check. Here, white can win in various ways. One is he can force the king to come on the B1 square by constant checks, or second, we can just take the F3 pawn with the queen and return our queen for the B2 pawn. For instance, Qb2, Kb2, Kg3 wins. Same can be done by gaining one extra move. First, Kg3. After B1 equal to queen. Qh7 check. Kb2, queen B1 check. Kb1 and king F3. And next move, the king goes to E4 and the F1 promotes to queen. So white wins the game. By the way, at this point, I must tell you that there is one more way for white to win. He can play the move Kg4, which does the same thing. The bishop gets to occupy or control the b1 h7 diagonal from the square f5. Now, if b1 queens, then bishop f5 check queens the queen. So the same race of pawn continues. Kd3, bishop f5 check, Kd2, h5, Kc1, h6, b1 queens, bishop takes b1. Kb1, H7, B2, H8 queen, and we reach a very very similar position. But the only difference is the king is on G4, so we can easily take the pawn with an extra move, and white wins. I hope you are finding these lessons useful and instructive. Do like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thanks for your time.